Nope. Okay, here we go. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Uh, I'm Rex. I'm Daniel. And this is... Famous Grouse Smoky Black. Okay, now I think we've had the famous grouse. We have, and we've had the naked grouse. Oh, that's... No, I would assume that's what made the grouse famous. <laughs> but apparently this nope. grouse has qualities beyond nudity yeah. that make A him good famous. personality. <laughs> oh. Yeah. All right. It's the Smoky Black. Yes. Which is the smoky version of the famous grouse. We'll see. This is a gift, by the way, from Matthew Pilgrim, Magnificent Bastard. Matthew, Matthew Pilgrim, you Magnificent Bastard. Now, the, the thing, the word smoky, it, in whiskey, I, you've seen smoky tossed around, and sometimes you kind of have to imagine the smokiness, and other times it'll just knock your head off. Yeah. We'll see if this is actually smoky smoky. Yeah, I feel like when someone mentions smoke, it's 50-50 on whether they mean it. Or whether they're just trying to Im put that impression in your mind when you take your first sip. In theory, they're using some peated whiskey from Glen Turret Distillery. Okay. And I think we actually have a bottle of Glen Turret. We so, do. Oh, okay. Holy crap. Wow. I can't believe that. That's crazy. This is not a very common whiskey. I don't know if this is the peated. Yes. But this is a 27-year-old Glen Turret. <laughs> it's gl wow. It's, it's glass worthy. Let's pour it for a comparison. Yeah, no kidding. 27 years old. Now, have you put your nose in this yet? No, not yet. So I'm not gonna pour this until I get a chance to smell and sit this. So, it's not heavy-handed, dominant, dominant smoky. No. There's traces in there. You can say there's smoky elements. Yeah, I'm you, mostly, it's, it's heading the direction of like the space eyed blends for me. Yes, with, or Highland blends. with a little bit of a thin veil of what could arguably be smoke. But whenever you're in scotch, right, mm -hmm. and you say smoky. You think I'm Lafroy, Gardbeg, Lagavulin. I mean, you're not 10% of the way there if mm -hmm. that's your comparison, if that's your reference point for what you think is smoky. But there's like a little, maybe a little something in there just to keep it from being just all sweet. Okay, this is smoky, like the budget slightly smoky Johnny Walkers are smoky. And then not even then, deep butterscotch, malt funk, right. and then the slight, slight like, hint like a double, of veneer. Like a double black. Of ash, right. but not smoke, but ash. I'd say, I'd say I think, I think it, there's enough there to be able to say there's a smoke element. It's not invisible, it's there, but for it to be the the smoky black. Yeah. I I I'll, I'll, I'll say this though. I'm not thinking about the word. Right. I actually do like the whiskey. Yeah, let's take it from that perspective. Yeah. So, I think it may be a little bit more, do you get the black or the double black? Double black. Yeah, it's more than the double black. The double black is very, very light. They're about even if you on the palate. On the palate? On the so palate, they're about even. On the nose, there's more smoke on Yeah, it's about grouse. as smoky as the double black if you've had that. I like it better than the double black. I do too. Yeah. And there's a lot more density to it than the double black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's try that really old comparison. I'm only doing this because they said they put Glen Turret in this, but this may not be, I don't think this is a peated Glen Turret. I think this is an unpeated Glen Turret. So it's not gonna be a real comparison. It's just an excuse to get to drink 27 year old Glen Turret. Hi. Ooh, pears. Straight up pears. No, there's very, very sweet pears in there. And vanilla cream. Yeah, this is, wow, this is a beautiful, this is. And flowers. I just want to pet it. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Whilst drinking. Orange cream citrus, orange zest. All of those things. You're nailing it left They're just right. exploding everywhere. This is a very complex, sweet, friendly, rich. So dense. Yeah. Oh, and it tastes nice. Yeah. A little pepper. And that, but it's not smoky. The dominant um, nose note is the pear. Yeah. On the taste too. It's the front end right there. Boom, here's your really big sweet pear. What is poached pear? Isn't that the cooked? Yeah, it's just yeah. like, uh, oh, I could totally see that. Right? Poached pear, yeah, you heat something up and mm -hmm. it, it releases a lot of the, even foods that you usually have cold, mm -hmm. whenever you heat them up, it presents a different angle on that yeah. flavor. Yeah. Um, okay, I guess so, I'll go back to drinking the famous grass. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the famous grouse. It's a good budget blend. Uh, yeah, it's a good budget blend, and I like it better than the Johnny Walker Double, Double Black for comparison. Uh, but this is not a fair comparison with a 27 oh, no, year just, old. And it's just a nice whiskey to drink. This is a beautiful whiskey, but the famous grouse, though, it's, it's 
What kind of budget are we talking about here? I don't know. I'll look it up while you pri comments. Prices are always regional here, but that's that's something potentially Famous worth, grouse. Yeah, smoky, smoky black. black. Potentially worth reaching for here. Because I do like how, as much as I nit nitpick about the, the 20. word choice. 20? Anywhere between 20 and 25 bucks. So, again, mm. uh, I'm saying for that it. for that um, curve that I'm grading on, for that yes. price point, that's, that's I'll give it a damn, y'all. Damn, all right. Damn, y'all. All right. <laughs> uh, by the way, I started keeping the, one of the tiny knives yep. right here. You call it the tiny. Because people gave me crap about... Like, hey, right? I don't know if you noticed in the name pocket knife, but it gives you a clue on where it's supposed to be. I, I saw that comment like a dozen times, yeah. <laughs> like, yes, I know, I know. Uh, that's funny. Aaron Robertson, when he said chalky sweetness. Yes. Does anybody remember those candy cigarettes yes. that were like sugar compressed chalk? That's where my brain went. Yeah, yeah me too. That, those first puff is a little puff of After our sugar. generation, yeah. those disappeared. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I remember like the ice cream man would come oh, up yeah. and you get some baseball cards. You get like the Ninja Turtle popsicle that looked like an abomination. And a pack of candy cigarettes. Because <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so bad. That's uh -oh. so bad. No. So much for the golden era of like, wasn't it great? Like Look, Norman Rockwell, like, I when we were convincing children to smoke <laughs> by using candy. Like, you know, Marlboro just right. paid for that. Like the company was like, we're going to make candy cigarettes. And Marlboro's like, we're going to make that free for you. <laughs> you keep all the profits. Uh, we'll cover all your costs. Allegedly. <laughs> Jimmy Leg, I just noticed that Rex looks like Anne Murray with a beard. Who's Anne Murray? Uh, Anne Murray is a Canadian Anne. singer. I had to look her up, but it's is a little creepy. Jimmy Third Leg? Yeah. Because he's a dick. That's the reason. Joke. Why. Third Leg. You can totally see like a family resemblance. I can see in here, like the cheekbone, like this type of, because I got big prominent, yeah. squishy cheeks. Right. And then the nose maybe a little bit. I'm just saying, family resemblance. Eh, I totally get it. All right. Uh, is that all? I kind of. I think that's it. I, I'm sure, here's, here's the thing. Back to the Glen Turret. No, I'm already so tired from the day. Yeah. We still got a lot to go. The entire time you're looking for this, it's like I gotta figure out a clever way to get more of this whiskey poured. <laughs> yeah. But I'm I I've given up on being clever. Oh. I just need to get a little bit more I know. of that whiskey for the thing. Here. Uh, here's the fighting, stealing, and allegedly drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. You steal me, you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may you drink with us. <laughs>